Welcome to Raw Material TV. In light of the coronavirus, today we're going to be taking a look at the five deadliest pandemics that have occurred throughout the history of the world. If you do end up enjoying the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leave us a comment down below to let us know how we're doing. Anyways, let's jump in at number five. Coming in at number five, we have the Antonine Plague of 165 to 180 AD, also known as the Plague of Galen. It was an ancient pandemic brought to the Roman Empire by troops returning from campaigns in the Near East. The true cause remains undetermined, but scholars do suspect it to have either been smallpox or measles. Not only did this epidemic take the lives of around 5 million people, but it also could have killed two Roman emperors. The disease broke out again nine years later, according to the Roman historian Dio Cassius, causing up to 2,000 deaths per day in Rome, one quarter of those who were affected, giving the disease a mortality rate of about 25%. This means that the disease probably killed around as much as one third of the population and devastated the Roman army. Coming in at number four, we have the Plague of Justinian, around 541 to 542 AD. It was a pandemic that afflicted the Eastern Roman Empire and especially at its capital, Constantinople as well as the Sasanian Empire and port cities around the entire Mediterranean Sea. It is believed that the merchant ships around the area harbored rats that carried fleas infected with plague. Some historians believe the Plague of Justinian was one of the deadliest pandemics in history, resulting in the deaths of an estimated 25 to 100 million people during two centuries of reoccurrence, a death toll equivalent to as much as half of Europe's population at the time of the first outbreak. The plague's social and cultural impact has been compared to that of the Black Death that devastated Eurasia in the 14th century. This plague greatly changed history by gravely weakening the Roman Empire, and the Emperor Justinian also had to call off his plans to reconquer Europe, as he was affected as well. It may also have left the empire too weak to defend against Syria, Egypt, and Palestine from the Arabs in the next century. Coming in at number 3, we have HIV and AIDS. Around 60 million people have been infected with AIDS since it was first reported in 1981. Nearly half of them, around 25 million, have died of AIDS. Another 35.3 million are living with HIV. There are no cure for AIDS, nor is there a vaccine that protects against it, although drugs can control the effect of the disease and dramatically improve the health of those who have it. At our number two spot, we have the Spanish flu, also known as the 1918 flu pandemic. Lasting from January 1918 to December 1920, it infected 500 million people about a quarter of the world's population at the time. The death toll is estimated to have been anywhere from 17 million to 15 million and possibly as high as 100 million, making it one of the deadliest epidemics in human history. With around 37 million people losing their lives fighting in World War I, more people actually lost their lives to the Spanish flu happening at the same time. The Spanish flu killed about 675,000 people in the United States, which was 10 times the number of US soldiers killed in World War I. A fun fact is that the Spanish flu was the first of two pandemics caused by the H1N1 influenza virus, with the second of course being the swine flu in 2009. So for the number one spot, I'm sure you guys guessed it, we have the Black Death, also known as the Pestilence, the Great Bubonic Plague, the Great Plague, or the Plague. It was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history resulting in the deaths of an estimated 75 to 200 million people, peaking in Europe from 1347 to 1351. The bacterium Yersinia pestis, which results in several forms of plague, is believed to have been the cause. It created a number of religious, social, and economic upheavals with profound effects on the course of European history. The Black Death probably originated in Central Asia or East Asia, from where it traveled along the Silk Road reaching Crimea by 1343. From there, it was most likely carried by fleas living on the back of rats that traveled on merchant ships spreading throughout the Mediterranean basin, reaching the rest of Europe via the Italian peninsula. The Black Death is estimated to have killed 30 to 60% of Europe's population. In total, the plague may have reduced the world population from an estimated 475 million to about 350 to 375 million in the 14th century. It took 200 years for Europe's population to recover to its previous level, in some regions only recovered by the 19th century. The plague has also reoccurred as outbreaks until the early 20th century and has even still shown cases in modern times. So yeah guys, that was the top five deadliest pandemics known throughout history. With all of this going on with the coronavirus, make sure you're washing your hands, social distancing yourself, and just trying to do everything you can to remain healthy and safe. This has been Raw Material TV. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.